what's going on everybody so it has been a while since my last upload covid and work and family just life got in the way right so today we are going to be looking at the overland vehicle systems shower cube i guess they call it shower cubes shower setup i don't i don't know anyways i've kind of used it for everything but this is it um really simple to deploy nice little price point it's come in handy as so many times uh, but that's that's what we're gonna be doing overland vehicle systems. They make some great stuff uh, Good good prices pretty good quality really good customer service. So check it out So the deployment for this guy is actually really, really simple. Looks just like a little mini awning basically and it packs up just like the OVS's regular uh, awnings as well. So this is all you gotta do. We unzip it, flip up the cover. It's got two Velcro tabs here to kind of wrap it all up. It falls down and then pull out the bars and each bar has a little locking mechanism on the inside and that's it now up at the top here depending on where you mount it you can adjust the height with these pull straps here and it's all the way around so with how high I have it mounted on the truck I keep them actually pretty, pretty tight because uh, I don't need anybody seeing me naked. But this thing has came in handy big time. So last summer we had a really big trip. If you follow my Instagram, uh, we had a really big trip, used it for showers. We used it for changing. We used it for uh the bathroom kind of coverage coverage up there and that was pretty great now at the bottom there's rigid poles built into the actual fabric here and they're uh, stitched in and that's to kind of help give the bottom that rigid rigid frame so and i don't feels like it's a metal bar i can't see them but uh that's what kind of helps give it the stability at the bottom too now at the bottom there are also little D-rings that you can use to actually secure it to the ground. Now it comes with kind of like the little L camping stakes, which they're they're terrible, flimsy. Everyone knows those things are terrible. What I use, I use the upgraded heavy duty uh, camping stakes and uh, they work great because it fits right in, uh, right in the middle of the D-ring. The and each corner has uh, a D-ring on it. And it's adjustable, so if you want to make it longer because it's you have it mounted higher or whatever, you can do just that. Um, but I definitely recommend whenever you use this, definitely stake it down or put some type of weight at the bottom of it because this thing catches wind like a sail. Um, I was in Montana. We took a uh, we were in, in a, a parking lot at a gas station. And uh, all of us, I, I took a shower. My two kids, we took showers. We're being in the parking lot, couldn't wait it down. But uh, it, it caught some wind when I was in the shower and about showed my ass to everybody. So uh, learn from me, stake it down or put weights on it so that way you don't end up uh, like I did in the parking lot. But, uh, and the cool thing about it too is that this material, if you're in it at night, there. There's no silhouette. There's no silhouette like the, like those cheap little pop-up uh, tents that you can buy on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Um, there's no silhouette. So if you're in here on a camp toilet taking a dump, you're fine. You're not getting, no one's gonna see you, you know, see what you're doing. It, you know, holds in the light pretty well. And uh, it, it's, it's pretty great. Um, I picked this guy up for about 250. I ordered it from Lowe's. Uh, because no one else had it in stock and they could get it to me before I went on my big summer trip. So 
that's where I got it from. Um, 250. And like I said, it was completely well worth the money. Uh, it, it came in, it's come in handy more than just that big summer trip, but it's come in handy in a lot of other places too. Uh, a lot of my weekend trips and whatnot, this has served as kind of like our bathroom. I like to carry a little five gallon bucket with the toilet seat lid on it. And this works perfectly. Uh, so let's show you the inside. All right, so inside. So it's nice, nice like reflective lining in here, which is great. And this is part of the reason why it doesn't show that silhouette if you have light in here at night, which is great. Uh, it's got two pockets. So it holds um, whatever you want. Clothes, shampoos, all that jazz. It's great. Uh, one on that side too. And then here is this flap. So if you have a hot water system set up or anything like that, I use this to uh, hold my beer, hold my shampoo. Cause when I, you know, when we used it, we would open this up and that's what we would do it for. You know, put beers and, and all that stuff right inside. Here's our locking mechanism. So if you got, you see your bars here, uh, everything's nice and tight welds. Welds look pretty decent. Um, you know, they could, obviously they could be better, but that's all right. It's held up for me pretty well. Um, there's a locking mechanism here, so it's just kind of like your standard, you push it in. And there you go. Same thing on that side. Um, now there is this little Velcro piece, and I have actually used this to hold up a the little five gallon black camp shower um, with the PVC pipe that runs through it for stability. So it's like that little $10 bag that you can buy off Amazon that has, that's solar heated. So I use those for my summer trip and this actually held it. It held onto it just fine. Um, these are the tabs here for, uh, for your mounting purposes. And uh, that's pretty much it, it's pretty basic. But like I said, there are your mounting points on each corner and each side has that little metal bar in it to keep it rigid so and it's it's got a it's got you know good space in here for what you need i mean i'm so right now i'm current I'm, I'm six foot standing in the corner on one side and i can't touch so i've still got about eight inches until the other corner here so you definitely got enough space. Um, like I said, I'm six foot and this is eye level right now. So I do like tippy toe, you could just about see over it. And if, like I said, you can change the height of how low this drape hangs. But, uh, but yeah, this is it here. So don't worry about the downward angle of it. That's just where my truck's sitting at in the yard and kind of got to angle that way anyways. But uh, so let's go ahead, I'll show you the takedown. Takedown is obviously really simple. Same concept as pretty much their awnings as well. So we're gonna unlock both sides. All right, so we're gonna fold one side in, fold the other in. Okay, nice and snug. So see it folded in and comes out just like that. And roll her up. Got some straps that like to hang down a little bit. You can tuck those in after you uh, get it secured up. This is it. That's your real world. How long it actually takes to stow away. And uh, zip it. Now, one thing I like about OVS is that they've got great customer service. Um, I have used them a few times. Uh, so I had a, my awning bag jacked up a little bit and they sent me a new one, no problem, no cost. So, so that's it, that's the shower bag. Now it's mounted on my KB Voodoo rack. I'll do a review on that here soon, uh, like one year after ownership. Um, it's attached to like their awning brackets that I have. Uh, so I bought another set of awning brackets, the, the low profile ones. And that's what this awning is mounted to. Um, super sturdy, super solid, but uh, well, yeah, we'll get into the end of the video. So Overland Vehicle Systems, 
their shower cube, about 250 bucks. It's coming handy, quick deployment, great for privacy, great for showers, uh, great for changing, whatever you need, it's right there. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, give me a shout, uh, put a uh, comment down below. Definitely try to like and subscribe. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Had uh, some rear end issues in the truck and I haven't done a lot of traveling. I mean, COVID and gas prices, y'all know, y'all feel the pain. So I, I did too, but, uh, but yeah, so here you go. Overland vehicle systems, shower setup, and uh, We'll see you next time. Y'all be safe out there.